Nosy Nell from the Omaru Geofest. This clip is about finding caches and hiding caches on a bike track. As you can see this is an old traction lorry. So this cache made it, us go to an interesting site. We're going to go over to the pub to have some lunch. JD Scout and I really enjoyed our lunch and now it was time to look at the map and find out where we were going. We had never been on this bike ride before until we went geocaching. I'm going to place another one. And she's off. I had come across this track as I had spotted a geocache placed here and I decided that there was room for more. So off we went to go and find and hide some more geocaches. So here I am finding some cover for the one of the hides that I'm placing and I found a good spot that's far enough away from the nearest geocache that has been hidden and next you'll see me with the GPS I'm looking at it and finding out the coordinates on my GPS I go to mark a waypoint and I do so and I test it and I mark it on my GPS so that I will remember what the hiding spot is. Here is JD Hat Scout, he's a reluctant video star. I think it's about 163 metres between hides, so I'm looking at my GPS as I'm riding along to make sure I don't place hides too close together, and also thinking about how fun it is while biking, not having to stop too many times to find a cache. Please like and subscribe our page. It gives good feedback to people who have YouTube channels when they know they have subscribers and people that like their page. As I'm biking, I'm thinking about whether it will be traditional caches, puzzle caches or multi caches. And I think that when I get home I'm going to create puzzles to add a little bit of extra fun. Oh, we come to the beach. And we had our first day in there. Never mind. There's a nice seat here, so we're sitting on it. I've hidden a few more caches. You can have a picnic here if you like. That's what I like about caching, it takes you to places you've never been before.